Hey guys, welcome to my uh, first ever real life video. Uh, and this is obviously by the title I'm going to be showing you my gaming setup because I did promise this for my 100 subscribers special which I am incredibly grateful for to have 100 people watch my uh, videos because that is a lot of people. So I'd like to thank you all for that first of all and I did promise this and it is a long overdue but now I finally have the time to do it so I'm going to do it. So I'm going to get right into it and I'm going to show you my what started me off on YouTube which is basically like my Xbox and my Xbox setup even though I don't use it anymore it's still something that's to show because it is in my channel where I used to record with like the rock show which used to be here which is my my capture card I sold it for my keyboard I got like a cool like um wooden wooden controller so to speak it's, it's plastic but it's nice and cool I only I only got it because of the buttons on the last one were worn down and things like the Xbox is like I think it's seven years old this year so it's still going but it's just collecting dust now uh, that's all I really use it for Turtle Beaches, the X11s even though they don't sell them anymore a few games here uh, with DVDs we got we got what type of DVDs do we have? we got, we got Dictator now see I know a lot of people like Dictator but I like it you got Tenacious D uh, Godzilla types of things like that some Skate 3 and shenanigans um, to the, to the posters, the posters I love because they just like stretch across the room, just so lovely, you know. Beautiful. Basically, we got Battlefield 3. I was thinking of getting Battlefield 4, obviously, because Battlefield 4 is out now, but I don't know. I think I'm just sticking with Battlefield 3 as like a memory. Another memory would be Call of Duty 4 because that was obviously the first game I ever played on Xbox 360, um, and I love it. So I'm going to keep it, and Halo 4 because it looks epic and I love Master Chief, so that's pretty cool. Um, got my draw. These books, these books, everyone knows, obviously, if you know me on Steam, then my name is Gimli and everything, and I love Lord of the Rings, and I got the books, The Hobbit, I've got, I finished that, the end is amazing, I'm not going to tell you though, because that's for you to find out unless you've already read the book. And I'm reading The Silmarillion right now, which is like, insanely difficult, because like, you just got like, it's, the book's like 30 years old, which is insane. But like, just like, I don't think you can see that, but basically it's like, Yavana, ooh, Kamatari, what the hell does that even mean? You know, it's it's a really difficult book, but I love the book, and it's amazing all, all together. But I'm I'm reading that right now, and I'm really enjoying it. So, uh, this is my main set, of which is what I'm using now, and what I use for all my YouTube videos now, as I don't use any of that anymore. This is what I use now, which is uh, the... Computer setup. I'm just gonna move the chair out of the way because. The, the. Wow! Look who we got here. We got we got my cat Lexi. Say something, Lexi. Oh yeah. Come here. That's Lexi. <laughs> look at her. Yeah, she's beautiful. What is it? What is it? I'll let you go. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. She just sits outside my room all day. Are you going? Go. Right. So yeah, this is the computer setup now, and I've set everything up ready for the video because otherwise I'd be fluffing about, wait, trying to get everything sorted. So over here, I'll start from the right to the left. Over here, we have my um, my Ozone gaming headset. I know, I know, I'm going to be very te technical with this, but you know, I, I enjoy talking about it. Uh, my Ozone Gaming headset, I don't think you can see it, it's on the Ozone Gaming setup headset. It does come with a detachable mic, but I took it off obviously because I have a blue snowball which is there. Um, because the mic quality is okay, but yeah, like I, I picked up a lot of static on it once uh, after a few few weeks of using it. And I, th I don't know why, I think like, the mic broken within it, whether it was my carelessness or not, I don't know, but it broke any either way. Uh, over here we have the Logitech G500 mouse, which is uh, the gaming mouse that I use. Uh, it's on the Ozone Gaming uh, mouse pad, which is a big mouse pad. I don't think I needed one this big, but it was nice anyway, because I can span it out anywhere. And with a DPI of like, I think this has a DPI of 5700 DPI, which is dot per, uh, per inch, I think it is. Uh, which basically means that it will move 5700 dots per every inch, which is like pixels or pixels per inch, dot, uh, something like this. Uh, they come with weights, which uh, you can see in there, and that basically slots underneath the uh, mouse for, for to give it a bit more weight, which I don't bother because I'd like to have it as as fast as possible uh, to, to play my games. Uh, over here we have the 
uh, the CM Storm Quickfire Pro <laughs> keyboard. Um, it's half lit. Like uh, it's it only lights up this area, but we can change it if we just click the function button and press uh, what's the button? F1. No, it just turns it all off. F1 turns it all off. F2 dimmers it. F3, and then you can change the different modes. You can have it fade in, in and out. So let's focus. Fades in and out, and then that one just has the WASD and the arrow keys and so on. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep that on. And I've also taken one of the keys off, so you can see under there. You can't really see, but it's uh, MX, which means it's a Cherry MX Red uh, keyboard, uh, which basically is a, a linear, or is it trilinear or bilinear? Basically, it's one of the linears, and what it does is it has zero resistance, and it like that's what gives it a nice little clunky noise. Because it has, it doesn't, it, it clunks, doesn't click. Clunking is like it has no resistance. Clicky is that once it clicks, then it's activated. Mine activates at pretty much any pressure. Um, the Blue Snowball microphone. It's the I did have the original Ice edition, but then I upgraded to this edition because this edition has like uh, I don't know if you can see the three settings on the back there. Uh, basically, that that allows me to change it. Well, like um, I think the similar like cardioid and. Uh, some other stuff. I basically use cardio. Uh, I think that's what I use anyway. Which basically is better for commenta commentaries, live commentaries, and, and everything. Because um, like the rest is all for musical instruments and everything. You know, a few knickknacks for from friends of mine. This cool speaker uh, this, that connects via Bluetooth. It's really small, and and that's what I like about it. But it's it's got one heck of a bass to it. It's amazing. Um, my BenQ or Benk monitor, whatever you want to call it, uh, it's 22 inch and it's a G2, 2, G2255. These numbers and letters might mean nothing to you, but that's basically what the product is call, called. Called. Uh, it's 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 good. It does whatever it needs to do. It's a nice monitor, sleek and black. You know that's what I like about it. And the background, the desktop background is like a Silmarillion portrait. I can't remember what the artist's name was now, but that's basically some sort of like scene within it. I haven't come across it in the book yet, but that is one of the scenes that is going to happen in The Hobbit. Uh, not The Hobbit, sorry, The Silmarillion. Um, then, if we go under the desk, ooh, uh, if we go under the desk, you will see that this is my computer here. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it with the lighting and everything, but if you can, you can. Um, you can't really see what's inside it, but it has... The power supply up here, which is the Alpine uh, 600 watt power supply. Uh, the processor is somewhere here, if I'm pointing to it correctly. That's basically, uh, it's an i5-3570K processor with um, 3.4 gigahertz, uh, uh, with 8 gigabytes of RAM, um, a GTX, uh, GeForce GTX 660 Ti uh, with 2GB of DDR3 or DDR5, I think it is, RAM. Um, uh, and then it has um, what's it called two two terabytes internal, and then I have an external out, uh, back there, which is all, that's for all my videos. Uh, basically, it, this computer is mainly made for my videos, like with the uh, like the software, because I have a one of the internal hard drives is for I think it's the top one is for my games, so I basically download all my games onto the uh, internal hard drive on that. And then the one below it then is for all my recordings, my raw recordings, and then and then all my final recordings will go onto that one because even though even though all my stuff is up on YouTube and I can easily retrieve it back, I still don't trust it just in case I my channel was to get put down or something. So that's why I didn't like it to to be just on YouTube and everything. So that is like an overview of my setup, and I know it's it. I don't know. You can say it's bare. I like it. I, I like the fact that I have a lot of space, and the chair of course is nice. But then we obviously have some aesthetics that I could I couldn't with a blank that I couldn't deny to have, which is which is just, there we go. It's a bit darker now. So what we can do is is that we can press that and we'll have them. They they might look white to you, but they're actually blue. And then there's a I'm gonna sit down there. There's a nice little white button here, and we have a nice lovely, lovely pimp pimp desktop. That's what I should call it. A pimp top, and it's all lit up. It looks white on the camera, but it's actually blue. But nonetheless, it looks pretty epic. Uh, I use that whenever it gets dark, so I got the blinds closed right now because it's still bright outside. But it looks pretty cool, and I like I like the setup, you know. Um, 
you can tell me what your spe specs are on your computer if you'd like because I'd be interested to know what uh, your specs are, uh, what like, type of monitor you use, what mouse and keyboard you use, um, what product you prefer because te uh, personally I prefer Intel and uh, Nvidia to AMD uh, over countless of things due to the like, graphics cards being built into the process and everything. But you know, this is my setup. I hope you enjoy this setup. I'm just gonna have a quick panel zoom.